it is um yeah, just gone seven in the morning happy 7th 8th of october i think yes the 8th, 8th of october uh, how are you all are you having a good october so far are you enjoying uh the change in the weather i know i certainly am i don't feel so guilty for um being happy to be inside by the time you see this and i've got to remember that you're going to see this in the future um my first october vlog will be up and oh my word what a week last week was i'm so pleased it's finished um it was the technology um week i was learning how to um set the items up for um, my shop take some pictures i've got some new lights so i was working with those so it was fun it was fun and um and learning how to um take the photographs and ed edit them put them into the editing software so i managed that last night um took me quite a while <laughs> to do but um i think I'm a, I'm a little bit proud of myself um learn how to put the titles across across the page i also chose some music myself and i put that myself out anybody helping me um so that that um was an achievement so yeah i had a little bit of help but i would probably say 80 20 maybe um i used some software I thought it was free but evidently it has a watermark it's a free trial for seven days but then it has a watermark across it which i didn't realize until the end so we're going to have a look at that um or we might have to pur purchase that but we have to do that that's, then that's fine um and then maybe by next week i might be um a lot more a lot more um professional well i was gonna say professional but it wasn't too realistic so I'm, I'm conscious that this first one that you the first one that you've seen there was like there was a lot of talking there was sort of wasn't much talking about my crafting my knitting i did do a bit of cooking and um, which i showed you I also showed you um being on the bike well my first attempt riding the bike out the garage and back um there's something wrong with the gears it it feels as if when you're riding it that the chain's slipping so we're having a look at that today so i do feel that i'm making progress um and i've sort of kind of kept my promises to myself so i'm very pleased with myself in in that fact so this week i'm going to be showing you this week coming i'm going to be showing you some of um the crafting the projects that i'm working working on so this morning i'm going to be working on um the cuff and no, beg your pardon, the leg of my of my sock. I always watch um, knit my socks cuff down. I want to be able to learn how to do them toe up. And I've been asked very kindly to be a test knitter for Lindsay from Stitch Create Love. So I'm absolutely made up. So I have managed a toe up. I don't know how to hold it to show you. Um, so I managed to do the the cast on um the video was very good it took me two or three attempts because i was kind of all all fingers but i man i you know i did that um and then i've done the the pattern which is beautiful um and then i've done a german um short reel short row heel i don't know what what's the best way to try and show you those that knit socks that this way already will understand what I'm, what I'm um, what I'm showing you and I thought I was doing it wrong and Lizzie was so lovely she um yeah I was able to contact her and she was able to um put me put me right I was already right evidently I just didn't understand that I wasn't supposed to be counting some stitches I don't I'm not giving any, anything away here when you do a shirt German short row you um you're turning your work and pulling pulling um, your stitches up at the end and then working backwards and it's those you don't count so I think when I do a second sock I think I might put a, put a marker in and then I'll know where where I am but I've learned so much already um and the yarn I'm using is um Mr. and Mrs. Rabbit's um 
which their colorways are just absolutely delightful and I just want to buy them every time you know, when you see them on the feed obviously I can't buy everything um, so that's it's Mr and Mrs Rabbit and this is the Jemima sock set and it's a deluxe high twist Murano Murano? Murano? Murano oh it's early in the morning forgive me um, sock yarn oh, it's beautiful absolutely beautiful so I will certainly be learning how to oh, I will certainly be um, you know, working with this um, sock yarn again and I'll certainly be buying um, some more from them so it's Thursday today Thursday today um, it's really awesome today winds up today um, so yeah I'll be pleased to stay, stay inside and my grandson's coming today so Thursday is um, bunny day today little bunny day today he's coming so we'll have some fun He's always evidently absolutely knackered when he goes home on a Wednesday. Um, done sort of chosen these colors autumn berry or something i think so i feel they're better they're shorter <laughs> no. Um, no chips that's yeah my little treat to myself makes me feel good but <laughs> went in took my handbag but forgot my purse so um she was very kind she's lovely lovely so the young lady looks after me she said I can pay next time so hopefully everything's going to be okay there uh, won't be any restrictions so now I'm going to come home to start on another job I thought I'd just take some time out I'll say hi to you guys and um, yeah I've got a cup of tea one of my favourite mugs so I'm going to test that, test that. And as it's Friday we're allowed some treats so I'm going to have a cake when I was a girl um, I think mum used to do shopping on a Friday, so um, come home from school and there'd always be a cake um, or some kind of like nice treat. So tradition I've kind of carried on, which that's quite funny, so the traditions um, that we that we have. Um, so I'm just going to sit here, as I say, have a cup of tea, have a cake and I'm going to do some knitting and I'll show you um, what I'm working on. I'm so, so excited that um, I managed to do a toe-up sock. So I am test knitting um, the lovely Flight of the Bumblebee Socks from um, Lindsay at Stitch Create Love. Um, and her pattern is, her pattern is fabulous. Um, she, you can either knit your socks cuff down or toe up. Um, I've knitted a few, a few pairs not quite a dozen but I've always um, cuffed, cuffed down so I said I'll test knit it but I'll um, I'll try the other way around and if I can do it then anybody can do it so I was knitting this morning but I was in my nighty, so I wasn't going to film <laughs> don't know you well enough yet so um, and I'm um, five five and a half but that still looks enormous to me it does it does fit so that's that's the front and it's just beautiful. I love this pattern. Love the pattern. Love the yarn. The yarn's by um got a board here in this Mr. and Mrs. Um Rabbits. And it's a deluxe high twist merino sock yarn. 
so you know, I did the um, toe up cast on changed my colour um, my contrast colour into my main this is the sock set and then I did the German um, short row heel which I thought at first I was going wrong because I had too many stitches I couldn't work out what I was doing um, but it was it wasn't me it sorry it was me it wasn't the it wasn't the pattern I just didn't understand what I was doing and that's I think where we get a bit frustrated um, that if we don't understand then we find we I I find uh, I realise I've got a little bit of knowledge that's um, that's mi that's missing that's missing that's what that's what I was thinking of saying um, but Lindsay was very kind and she um, talked me through it. And I had been doing it. As soon as she mentioned one thing, I realised the mistake that I, I'd made. And it was fine. It was just a misinterpretation on uh, my part. Nothing to do with the pattern at all. Um, and I can see how I'm really starting to make a bit of progress now. That instead of just undoing it and throwing it you know, behind my chair in the study, um, I'll realise that I, I, need, I need to find a friend. <laughs> morning happy saturday been up here for a while had a cup of tea um been on the computer just catching up on some emails and things and now i'm just looking at my sock <laughs> my toe-up sock this is only my second um attempt i'm working on the flight of the bumblebee socks for the lovely Lindsay at stitch create love um, I was working on this last night. I don't know whether if you can see this or just on this edge. I don't think it's great. I don't think that looks too bad. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo it um, and sort of try again. All right, I'm definitely I'm doing it now. I pulled the pulled the needles out. But can you? Um, is the camera, yeah, camera's picking that up. I, I'm not sure quite what I've done I think it might be that I've not pulled the yarn tight enough as I've gone round so I will um, I'll just undo it and we'll try and six it. and seven um, today is World Mental Health Day today this was um, well publicly sort of recognised in, um, in 1992 Obviously, it's been around for a long time. There was a huge stigma about um, mental health. It wasn't understood um, very much, hence the stigma. But, uh, yeah, World, he World Mental Health was set up in 1992 um, for global mental health education, awareness and advocacy um, against social stigma. And I think we've come... I think uh, the world's come a long way since 1992. I um... right, I'm back. I've re-knitted that toe. I think I'm a lot happier with um, this one. It's a lot neater. I think that's my yeah second second toe. I finished my first. Oh. I should take up this. Well, I finished my first uh, toe up. I've not blocked it yet. Oh my god, something's got caught. So it's not laying as flat as it should. I'm quite pleased with that. Um, I'll just take that off and show you. So I can show you my toe here. Um, I think that's not too bad. For a first attempt. So I'm pleased. I'm pleased about the slightly, slightly on the bigger side. So I'm hoping when I block them, they will be slightly, um, slightly smaller. That's the word I was. <laughs> that's the word I was uh, looking for. So I'm really pleased. Yeah, really, really proud. Yeah, that I've I've managed to do that.
Good morning. Um, it's Sunday here, the 11th of October. I'm just going to have brunch. A bit of a slow start for us today and a bit of a luxurious um, breakfast. I'm going to make some American pancakes um, using the recipe from the Aga Bible um, from Amy Wilcock. I love the fact that it just has a Jack Russell on the front that looks like my Brunty. But my Brandy hasn't got um, a long tail. Pass of sugar here. I absolutely love um, this vanilla paste. And um, I put that in quite a lot of things. I used to use vanilla beans, the pods. But I use the, um, the bean paste now. Um, and the buttermilk. So I'm just going to put all this together. And I'll show you this time. I got told off by my daughter that I hadn't. Um, I've been cooking, but I hadn't shown you anything, so I'll uh, have to remember to put add that in. Right, I'm back. I've got dressed. Um, as I said, making um, pancakes for brunch today. So I have all the ingredients um, in well, the dry ingredients: um, plain flour, bicarbonate of soda, baking powder, some vanilla paste. Um, touch of castor sugar and a pin pinch of salt. So I was just going to whisk those together. I've got some um, buttermilk. Um, I shouldn't really tell you how much because <laughs> um, it's in a book. Um, it's copyright and all, all that kind of thing. Um, so I'm going to do just 500 mils in there. Um, and the rest of it I'm going to do half and just put that in. If I'm cooking um, if I'm cooking sponges and things like you know, like baking, I'll um, weigh everything, weigh everything out. But something like that, I'll just kind of um, do it by eye. So, and you've got to add some um, sunflower, sunflower oil um, into that, and that's it really. Um, really love American pancakes, and we don't have them that often. When we do, it is like a real treat. Um, I've just got the kettle um, boiling in the background. I'm going to cut tea. Oh, pot of tea. Pot of tea. I think it's like quite luxurious about having um, a late breakfast. Actually, I'm, just, I'm just measuring the oil out roughly. And less, less is more. So you have to oil this recipe. Um, I think it might be no jealous that it's um, sort of melted, melted butter. a few lumps in there, I'll just keep beating it. So we're just, uh, that's one of the things about being empty nesters is we can eat what we want, when we want, and whenever, whenever we want. So um, we're kind of having brunch, brunch today. Um, so we'll have that and then we'll have our even, evening meal. So that's the mixture. Um, and then we'll cook those off. You just fry them in the frying pan. Um, Either way, so I might see if I can film a little bit on the anger. Um, okay. See, the dogs are always here. They're waiting for um, pancake today. Always waiting for the first pancake. You can see those little bubbles appearing. Give me. We've got plenty. Mm. Bailey, would you like a pancake? Yeah, I bet you would. And you, Bob, would you like a pancake as well? See their tails wagging. Hey, we haven't dropped one. Not yet, Bob. Here's my pancake. I'm going to go and uh, have my bits on. We're having um, 
berries and maple syrup today, so delicious. back I made it oh my word that was uh, an experience and a half um, I'm really pleased that I managed to get out um, we literally just sort of went over the road um, down the lane turned around to come back um, and I'll confess there was a bit of a hill when we turned around I just couldn't um, I tried about halfway up to get on my bike and I think I'm still obviously getting used to it but no stamina hear me breathing um, but we came back absolutely glorious today and I'm so proud of myself so proud of myself that I managed to get my bike and it's out so last week it was um, get my bike fixed um, I think you saw a little bit of me just sort of drive out to the gate and back so to make sure that I didn't sort of forgotten you know boys um, so get down down so uh, yeah the boys have just come to me Oh, did we go out without you, hey? Hey, what are you doing, Brant? Yeah, looking in the garage, making sure that uh, we didn't bring any unwanted uh, visitors back with us. So, hi again. So I could do quite a bit today. Um, you would have seen from previous footage that I sorted out some of my projects felt that they were getting a little bit out of control. <laughs> um, I'm very much a person that I like to sort of keep things um, together. So what I did is I separated out um, my current projects from my dream projects and that's sort of helped me um, empty up here a bit more. So in this in this basket, this is where I keep everything in the project bag. I'll just sort of just put it in a basket and the one I can carry it around at the moment I'm just sort of sitting upstairs I've got a little area where I've got my table, uh, table my armchair and um, I've got my baskets and I tend to also keep my projects in there as well um, and then just take them up downstairs when I'm work working on them so at the moment this is in my lovely um, crafty clegs um, beautiful strawberry project bag I'm doing a test knit I'm really uh, delighted with. So I've completed one sock. It's only one, isn't it? Do you ever do that? You finish the sock and it takes you forever. <laughs> I like to do a two second um, job. So I've learned quite a lot on this. This is my um, toe up project. So I've learned how to do magic cast on, toe up um, sock, German short row heel, and um, a twisty rib. So I'm really pleased with that. And then in here this morning, I did take you know, a fair bit of time this morning, fin finish this, um, um, my second sock, and perhaps do a couple of rows, so at least I've started. Um, I always find it a bit of a faff when you first start starting off. So these, uh, just make sure I've got everything in properly, yeah. So um, this is Lindsay's pattern here, and it's just lovely. And I'm using um, Mr. and Mrs. Rabbit's yarn, which I've spoken about. And she had uh, she put notice on Instagram the other day that she'd got a few um, advent calendars left. And I'm very late to this. I didn't even realise until a couple of years ago you can have advent calendars of yarn. And last year, my daughter and I we did a little one each. Just used like our Starcraft bits, and um, we did that. And that was that was really really nice. My daughters, the what she gave to me, were a lot nicer wrapped, <laughs> better presented than mine. But that was really fun just to do that little thing. But um, I went on and I'd missed it. I missed Mr. Ra Mr. and Mrs. Rabbit's um, one. Um, so I just sort of said, oh, I was disappointed. And then I got um, a message the next day to say a customer made a mistake. They'd ordered two. Would I be interested? I was like, yes, please, I would be. So I've ordered one of those. Um, so I'm on a yarn ban. 
I'm been on the armband for ages. I've been on the armband, just for October, I thought, oh, I'll just have a bit of a armband. Um, so I've ordered the advent calendar from Mr. and Mrs. Rabbit, and I've also ordered the advent calendar from um, Craft House Magic that came on the other day. I thought, oh, I'll just have a look. And it, I was hoping there'd be a 12 day one, but there's only 24 days. I thought, well, I can't really you know, afford that if I can't really spend any more money. I've already bought that other one you know, the day before. So I went to bed, got up in the morning, I was having my cup of tea, and I thought, if it's still there, it's meant to be. It won't be. I'll go and have a look. It was still there. So I've ordered that as well. And then um, Jeanette from Crafty Clegg, she has dyed some yarn. So I've hopped in there to support her, and I've... Um, bought some yarn from her so this yarn that isn't working so um, I think I need to control myself <laughs> so that's that so tonight I'm going to work on the um, German short rail heel heel and see if I can sort that out this is the hand handbag <laughs> project bag from um, Stitch Create Love with the beautiful fairies on it I'm not actually into fairies, um, but this fabric was so beautiful when I saw it. I've been following um, Lindsay's journey, and it was just delightful. It really is. I suppose I think this reminded me of stories that I used to read when I was a girl, the Toad Stories and things like that, my Eni Blyton days. Um, so what's oh, in here is my Dreamy Cable hat. Um, so this is something that I want to work on um, later on in the week. And I've left the picture downstairs. But that's really annoying. I found it. It was tucked in something. I'll show you this. Because you'll see it. Can you see it? Oh, that's not too bad, is it? So um, this is my cable hat. I'll talk to you about this later on this week. And this is the lovely um, Snuggly Stars yarn. Um, yes, it's a, it's, um, Snuggly Stars yarn. And it's beautiful. This is my first skein of yarn and I would have bought that at Yarndale um, two years ago when my daughter and I um, went and I was just starting to learn about um, yeah, indie dye, indie dye yarn so that is lovely um, and I wasn't able to buy anything at Yarndale this year if I hadn't used anything so I can't, hence the reason I can't sell them um, and then in here oh, that was my lovely project bag by myself so this is my fun project bag. Um, my daughter and I went to the Knit and Stitch Show. I think we've been about at least three times. I think three times. I don't think it's four. I think three. But we went probably two two years ago. Um, and I bought some fabric. And I might have bought. I don't think I bought it on that trip. It's probably four years ago. And it just reminds me of autumn in the garden. Um, I don't celebrate um, Halloween. Um, I don't believe I don't believe in it, and that that's fine. It's fine for everybody to, yeah, celebrate it and enjoy it. And I enjoy the colours and things, but um, pumpkins for me it means harvest, harvest festival. So this is what this time of year um, means for me. So I have been. Oh my god, I'm so bad. I haven't got the project notes in here either. That is really is not like me. It irritates me beyond belief. It must be on my desk. I don't know why it's on my desk because. This is my shawl that I'm in the middle of um, making. I was in my study. Um, I have to keep saying to you that I'm so bad with technology. Um, if I'm going to go on the internet, I go into my study to put the computer on to go on the internet. Um, I know that I can do it on my phone. I can't see. Um, I, like to have, I like to have a big screen and I like to be able to um, yeah, move everything around and whatever, touch all the buttons. So um, it's on my desk because I was trying to do the stretchy cast off. I think I was, I was doing it myself and then I've watched it and I wasn't doing it right. So uh, that's all I have to do for that. So that's that one. Um, so I'm getting to the point where two of them need it. Yeah, one all I've got to do is cast off. Sure, I've got to cast off. My sock, once I get past the heel, then I'll uh, be home. And then I can sort of start on the hat. So that's my, that's my next project. And then this one, this is probably the very first project bag I made about four, four five years ago. It's very plain, a little bit quilted. 
um, I made one for my daughter as a surprise and then I had and one for my other daughter um, it was on the track for she opened it on the train journey all the way down to London to knit and stitch and I think that was the bit that was left over so I had the um, leftovers and this is a baby little baby cardigan there's a theme going on here I've got nothing with, nothing with me so I started this I like to have a baby in it on the go but I'm thinking now perhaps maybe I should undo it <laughs> and um, they're the longest needles for a baby knit I think they must have come off a magazine or something and I don't know why um, this is for a friend's baby but maybe I should undo that but I need to go to the hairdressers tomorrow and I haven't got anything to take with me so that might be a good idea to um, to take that and then last but not least I want to talk to you about this um, uh, later on in the week and this is from oh, this is my Yarndale socks we all did the little pack that they the little kit they put together um, I have got the pack in here you've probably all seen this uh, hopefully it's got a pic good picture on it no, no it hasn't so that wasn't very exciting wasn't it um, but the yarn is absolutely beautiful it's um, West Yorkshire West Yorkshire spinners that's why really autumnal colours and it was doing really well but I want to talk to you about it tomorrow because um, I want to show you my daughter's effort not efforts my daughter's knitting rather that was didn't sound very very polite did it I don't see her socks much better than mine so that's my sock at the moment and they're the colours which I'm really loving I was hoping to get those done by the end of October but we'll see but um, yeah I'll talk to you about my daughters so they're my um, things I've got on the go at the moment I think it's very important for me to with my crafting especially I feel that there's no there's kind of no pressure to do it but I'd like to just be a little bit organized about it sometimes and just have it in my head and to know what I'm going to do and then in here in my other basket are all my um, dream whip um, projects that I want to make and I am pleased I am pleased I've made that decision to perhaps get a pattern and put the yarn together and put it in a project bag and then I know that I'm, re I'm ready to go and hopefully I will knit more things I would like to knit rather than it just passes you by other things come on so these are yes these are the um, Hopalitelli socks which I really want to have a go at so it does seem that I'm <laughs> on a sock thing at the moment um, and this is the lovely Mr and Mrs Rabbit's yarn oh, that's looking a lot lighter than it actually is um, but this is yeah gorgeous gorgeous I'm thoroughly enjoying um, knitting their yarn so I'm looking forward to um, starting on those and this look at this bag this is so crazy the sheep this is from uh, Cothouse Magic and it's beautiful really squishy really like that bag um, oh this is mine this is another one of mine I kind of like a, a, a big project bag again I've lined it with some um, rent gingham must have used that must have had it for some, something for Christmas and this is oh yes this is um, these fingerless, fingerless um, gloves I'd like to have a go at those can you see that um, and these are by Ellie Doyle and I think this was a free pattern I'll have to double check and uh, make sure I give you the correct information and this is her socks, the West Yorkshire Spinners um, Wim Wim Mum a special colourway with sort of the blue, beautiful blues they were um, I do like to try and support somebody that is just starting out um, and women especially I like to sort of you know, do my part and empower women and this lady is new this year I think um, so I bought the Aran and the colour there is just lovely I think that's a bit deep looks a bit deeper in the camera than what it actually is and so the um, label here I'm looking forward to um, scaling that up and that'll be a new project for me I've never 
um, made fingerless mittens before. So I will certainly be um, looking forward to working on those. Um, oh, another project very funny. <laughs> this is my crazy Alice in Wonderland. I always hated that store. Not hated, that's too strong a word. I couldn't really engage with it when I was a child. And it wasn't until a few years ago when I went back to university as a literature student that we looked at children's literature and I had to read Alice in Wonderland again. And it just clicked. Um, and I really like the story. These are my Lola socks. I've still got my really bad um, picture. Um, so the, this is for Gaynor's um, son, Bill. He goes to a special special school and they're trying to raise money for a minibus for Bill and the boys so they can take them out to um, different places. So the yarn was especially dyed by uh, Lay Family Yarn. Yep, Lay Family Yarn. That's the yarn. And it looks beautiful. It looks exquisite. I have um, never knitted anything with their yarn before. And I'm really looking forward to... Um, have the go of this. So Kelly at Lay Family Yarn has donated four pound for every four pound towards Bill's bus for every school, every skein. Beg your pardon, every skein that is sold. And then um, the lovely Jules, so sweet Violet, she's donating the three pound I think for every pattern that is um, bought, and all that money is going towards um, Bill's school for for the bus. Oh, and this one, this bag is by um, Rachel from So Row Me. I wanted one of those for ages, but they always sell out so quickly. So I have that. And this is my um, pinky theme. <laughs> and this is the pattern by Stitch Create Love, the lovely Lindsay. And this is a cow, which I'm really looking forward to starting again. I haven't made a cow. Um, I did have everything sorted, but the yarn that I had put to one side for it, the is it the fluff, the mohair, it was the wrong colour. Um, I wasn't sure quite how that would come out, so I've got both my yarn. I ordered from Hedro Yarns um, some is it alpaca silk, so I've got those two. This is from um, uh, West Greenloft, which is beautiful, which is really beautiful. Um, Stitch, stitch keeper Jeanette at Crafty Clegs. She just does an amazing, amazing um, stitch markers. Look at that, and I'm going to make sure I'm holding the label up the right, the right way. I'm just obsessed with this ballerina. She just looks so lovely. So I think I've got a bit of an obsession for um, stitch markers at the moment. I just want to away from me. Right, uh, it's Monday, 12th October. I'm just in um, town. Took me quite a while to get in here this morning. Um, getting my eyes tested today, so I'm quite looking forward to it. Not looking to the eye test and all the uh, up close and personal stuff. Um, but I've got the appointment first thing, so uh, I'll go in and we'll see. Oh, nice concrete building behind me, so I'll speak to you later. Thank you. 
hairdressers I can't see my daughter I'm not allowed to go and see her but social distance not even social distancing but I'm allowed to come and see her as my hairdresser she's all embarrassed <laughs> dinner tonight chicken and mushrooms and it's well don't move anything um, what Bond's new Chinese takeaway book I think the ingredients are quite healthy I've got a chicken and mushrooms and our compliments hello um, oh, I've just got chaos in my hair for some bit I stood straight hair. that is uh, a real treat um, I had a really nice day today. Went out, had my eyes tested, so that was good. That's done. I was, uh, um, I was going to say, yes, I do need new glasses. My right eye more than anything. Um, went to bookshops. I've got a bit of footage to um, show you, so that would be nice. Um, I really enjoy reading. I really enjoy going and um, just having a look. You know, in a bookshop, there's a little independent one, um, so I can put that up. Um, and I went to see my daughter. Um, yes, I live in the northwest of England and we are on um, lockdown. We're allowed to go and meet up with anybody, not allowed to visit anybody, not allowed to go to a pub or restaurant and meet up with people either. Um, so Boris is in, our Prime Minister Boris, he's in the um, House of Commons at the moment and he's just sort of rolling out some new restrictions. I think for the North West it's not really going to make much difference apart from, um, I think if you live in Liverpool, the pubs are shut in, gyms are shut in, they say casinos, betting shops. Um, yeah, don't quote me on that, so I need to look at look at the news and uh, listen, to, listen to that properly. Um, so yeah, so I can't see my youngest daughter because she's on lockdown, we're on lockdown. But I'm allowed to go to her salon as a customer and she's allowed to do my hair. Um, so she just started today, self-employed, and in a new salon and we had the salon to ourselves. So um, we were just able to have a good chat um, and a catch up. Um, so that was really nice. And then she had a client in between me. I had my hair coloured colored today. I'm not going grey, I'm going white, so, um, which is just awful, um, but yeah, some sort of, I've had to go blonde, I used to be red, and I used to dye it red, but the, um, yeah, it was coming through, so it's not, not good, my hair grows really quickly, um, so I just can't stand seeing, seeing the roots, so, uh, her best friend, um, came in so that was lovely so we were like three little women just um chatting so that was nice so i thought yeah just come on show you my curls funny isn't it what makes you what makes you feel good um got a compliment from my husband so when i come in so that was nice um so we're just about to have chinese dinner um but it's chinese chicken and mushroom chinese chicken and mushroom i think that's all it says um i've just taken um, a little video of that. But from what I can see, there's, there's half a teaspoon of sugar between the two of us, so I think it's fairly healthy. There's nothing else. There's soy sauce and oyster sauce, but I don't think there's much of that either. So this is what I'm looking at, looking at our sort of the extra bits. I wouldn't really take any notice of the sauces. So um, yeah, the soy sauce we've got reduced salt as well. I think that might be the last time you see me today. I think you probably, by the time you watch this, you'll have enough of me. <laughs> Um, so I hope to come on tomorrow. So I've got this chore day tomorrow. Um, Monday's supposed to be cobwebs and the floors. Um, I think it's a couple of kitchen covers, a good uh, wipe over. 
I didn't do that today because I've been out and I'm tired now. So um, I can still do some bit more knitting on the sock. So we'll see how far I get with that today. Um, I'll look forward to um, seeing you tomorrow and um, maybe have a bit more of a chat tomorrow. So I hope you're all well. Um, I hope the restrictions are not too awful um, for where you are. Um, so I won't be able to go to the casino. I won't be able to put a bet on. Not that I'd know how to do that anyway. Um, I'm, I don't mean to be flippant, but I think we've just uh, reached a point that I'd just like to see my mum and I would like to see my, my two my two grandsons of see my daughter, so I've sort of topped up there a bit. Um, but like, yeah, see my granny boys. Went to get a pop up book today. I uh, love pop up books. I wasn't successful, so I'm just gonna go on the internet and see if I can find one. And then maybe ask the shop to order it for me. They're ordering me a copy of uh, Little Women, so uh, do that. Right, that is really is it for now. Okay, I'll speak to you later. Okay. Bye guys, bye. To that, um, so yeah, we've been talking about getting, getting a Jack Russell, but I took Molly to the vets because she wasn't well, and I'm a great believer in fate. This lady came in and she had a crate of Jack Russells. Oh, that was great. So I looked at Bronte, and I like to think Bronte looked at me, and um, I just said to the woman, Oh my word, they're just absolutely gorgeous. Are you selling them? So she said yes, and she explained that she lived on a farm. And um, she'd only put a notice up the day before. A couple of them had already gone. And I really liked Bronte. She was the tiniest, but she was just the most beautifulest um, dog in the crate. And she, well, she'd actually, she said, I'm thinking, she said, of having, you know, of keeping her. I was like, oh, and I was absolutely disappointed. I was so disappointed. My heart just sank. And we kept, kept talking. And I said, oh, I think she's absolutely beautiful. And I was explaining that we've been talking about her a year and whatever. And so she said, well... She said, I do live on a farm, and um, she said, we've got a conversation, and she keeps sitting on her, so she said, we can't have, um, you know, have, the, have this going on, it's really busy in the farm, we need to, you know, she said, I need to think about it, so she went off, went to see the vet, I come out, then I went, sort, went to see the vet with my dog, and then when I come back out, she was at, at reception, and she said, if you'd like it, you can have her, I said, just need to ask my husband's permission, I said, I'll just take your phone, phone number. Um, I said, he says yes, I'll find you straight away and I'll come and put a deposit down tomorrow. So I phoned my husband, I was like, Bronte, I've seen this dog and I'll, I'll look after it and I'll clear up after it and whatever, I really want to come. And he's like, whatever, it's fine, he's on his way home. So I went the next day, put the deposit put the deposit down and um, we went out, we got like a little basket and um, this is me not wanting you know, to have a female dog. So he came with me on the Sunday, and oh my word, as soon as he saw her, he was absolutely besotted. And um, she's lovely. I wouldn't say she's overly, overly cuddly. She does like a cuddle, but she's very independent. She likes to go off and she have a sleep, and she likes her space. So it was lovely. So um, I got her in the January, and then oh, we, we hadn't even discussed like moving. We saw a house in the February, and then we moved here in the March.
So that was a good a good walk a really good walk we were out for about an hour um, apart from the traffic and the odd cyclist uh we don't really see anybody yeah that was nice so i'll just uh, come in i'm gonna have a cup of tea i'm gonna sit down and uh just gather myself um i'm just gonna watch i just found um rachel the lovely rachel for so ray me has um put up an autumn uh blog so that was one day ago so i'm gonna enjoy sitting here drinking a cup of tea and watching that um i just wanted to oh show you a couple of things today um i think i mentioned last week that i'm quite a fan of lists i used to do years ago like loads of to-do lists uh, but now i do done lists completed lists and i find that that in itself is a lot more therapeutic to me and don't get me wrong i still do a to-do list sometimes um but it's not a list that I have to get through that day or within a certain time frame. It's just a way of me unjumbling everything um, from my head. So I have this book here. Um, I got this from B&M. I think it is actually yeah a to-do list. Things to do. Yes. I just yeah. Not that you need really need some front cover to see what's got on it. But um, today. Yeah, it's uh, so that's my list of things. I think it's important to perhaps appreciate sometimes all what you have done, even the things that you don't think are worth um, noting. So it's a to do list, um, priorities is on one side and goals on the other. So my priorities today was to do our bedroom and to wash the kitchen floor. I've not washed the kitchen floor yet, so I might do that. Um, it's a bit late in the day to wash the kitchen floor because I've been. I swear that everybody will, uh, well, everybody, dogs and husband, will um, come and uh, walk all over it, <laughs> which really irritates me. Um, so I've come back and there's some post and it's from um, my lovely friend um, Jeanette at Crafty Clegs and she has dyed some yarn. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? And she's called it... Um, Simply, simply caramel. Let me put my glasses on. Now they've been all oh, they've been tightened up. I'm not falling off my face. Uh, yeah, simply caramel. It's 100 gram weight, 400 in length, and I think it's 12 ply. But that's beautiful. Look at all that. 
It was a little haunted house. They called Nibs. Nibs and something else. And <laughs> I think that's, yeah. So I don't quite know what I'm going to do with that, but uh, I just kind of wanted a first edition. I put myself on a yarn ban um, this month because I was sort of looking at what I've, what I've um, purchased. Uh, I think since May, I don't think I've bought anything from March to May. And then my daughter introduced me to the Yorkshire Yarn Fest online and um, her Mr B's yarn. And yeah, I have a couple of baskets full of um, skeins of yarn now. So I say I'm on a yarn ban, yarn ban this month. But yeah, just sort of pull it back a little. So I saw this, bought this. I thought, oh, I'd, yeah, I want to support uh, Jeanette. And I really want, um, you yeah, know, one of her first, first editions. I bought that. Then... Mrs. Rabbit, Mr. and Mrs. Rabbit, they'd put um, a notice up on Instagram saying the last few um, advent calendars, which I really would wanted one of those. Um, and I thought about it, I thought, oh, I don't know, right, I'll go and do it, but I just forgot. And then she put a notice up to say it was all gone, and I, I was like, oh, just missed out. Um, so I was a bit sad at that because I did want one of those. Um, and then she messaged me to say that she'd got one. Somebody had made a mistake. They'd ordered two by mistake. Would I like it? And I was, yes, please. I would like it. Um, so I bought that. And then my lovely Ellie from Craft House Magic put up that she'd got the last of her advent calendars were going up. And I went on and it was a 24-day advent. And I thought to myself, no, you sh you know, you've bought yarn um you should just, you've already got an advent calendar. You've just bought the Mr. and Mrs. Rabbit yarn. You can't really have a 24 hour uh, advent. Just, yeah, leave it. Pull yourself back. So I went to sleep. I got up in the morning. I was having a cup of tea and I thought about it. I thought, you know, if it's meant to be, it'd be there and it will, won't be there. I'll go and have a look. And it was there. So I ordered that as well. Um, so, yes. So, and then I bought a couple of tickets um, for Gainers Raffle. Um, for Bill's bus, I'm not bothered about um, getting the advent calendar. I mean, obviously, if I did get it, it would be really nice. But um, I did say that I would give it to my daughter. So if I did, if I did win, but I don't think I will. Um, so yeah, I was glad that I was able to make another contribution to uh, Bill's bus. So um, that's coming on um, really well. So if you've not heard about that, um, Bill's bus is something that Gainer is. Um, running um she's been lucky enough to get lots of donations she's running uh, raffle prizes and she's um raising money for it it's not for her, not just for her son it's for um you know the school that her son bill goes to they've got a really dilapidated um minibus so she's got together with a lot of other parents they're all doing different things so she's um doing this and the lovely jewels at so sweet violet has created a pattern for um for strictly which i'm hoping to cast those socks on the lola socks and the, she's donating three pound for each pattern that's sold and um lay family yarns they've done a special colorway so i don't think there's any any more in stock or she's going to do any more but you need to go and have a look at her look at hers um it's beautiful i've got i have got a skein um yeah i've got two on for myself and my daughter um, so I'm looking forward to casting those on and um, she's donating four pounds so I think they've done really well um, with what they've raised so far I'm not sure of the exact figure I'm not sure if it's a thousand or two thousand but it's absolutely fabulous and I think as crafters if you can help anybody in any way whether that is buying something to help raise money um, whether you're going to buy that as a present or but you know you're going to buy for yourself if you were looking for a certain um i don't know type of yarn or something you you will help and i think that's what's so lovely about the um community so um yes i'm looking forward to this um do you know also put a really lovely tea in as well which i've not um seen she's put um a three cinnamon a uh three cinnamon tea which i do like um cinnamon so I'm going to have um, have that later. I'll have a cup, proper cup of tea now. Now I've had my hours walk. I deserve that. And uh, yeah, and I might go and uh, wind some yarn. That's much better than washing the floor. Uh, yeah, I think I've uh, 
I think I've peaked now and um, yeah that's that's it that's, I don't even know what the time is what's the, what's the time oh it's 20 past four it's way too late isn't it to um, um, wash the floor I'll uh, speak to you tomorrow okay have a good night mm -hmm.